Gun 11 personnel, T. Mitch is playing a cop harass cover 2 technique. The word harass means to bother, and usually that's what cops do. So we just try to translate it to football. But anyway, it's a cover 2 technique, Ken the number 2 wide receiver. With Mitch squatting like this, it confuses Ben to assume that it's man coverage and that that out route will be there. Mitch is just harassing Claypool's shoulders to reroute him while King the number 2 wide receiver to jump anything threaten the flats. And as the play progresses, you can see T. Mitch does just that and almost comes up with an INT. Gun 11, Trey, personnel, Trey right, tight end to the right. Combo coverage on Mitchell's side. He's playing the deep third defender. But remember, everything turns into man. All zones turn into man at some point. Mitchell just does a good job of staying on the top shoulder to contest um, the nine route by being to Claypool for the PBU. We got gun 11 personnel bunch right close the new york jets are running a spacing contact to attack all zone soft spots no matter what zone the defense is in it's always a soft spot just remember that and in this case the browns are in a cover three mitchell is just a deep thirst defender nothing over the top assignment but being the savvy veteran that he has been he trusts his eyes and squats and jumps the curl for the pbu most coaches are anal with the assignments when it comes to the secondary and on the back end but if you guess right it's all good in the neighborhood. And as the play roll on, you will see the space that I was talking about right there in zones that is open. And if the quarterback hit it right, it's almost 100% guaranteed to be completed. But Mitchell just does a good job of closing and playing his hips to the direction that he wanted to go. Double out concept is man-to-man -man versus Slayton. Slayton attacks his leverage to force Mitchell to have his hips even for a better chance for a two-way break and an easier completion. However, Mitchell is patient and expands to see the quarterback through the wide receiver to time the breaking perfectly. Mitchell is playing a simple shuffle-shuffle technique to execute on the breaking point, and it is still a man technique. However, he just slow plays it, expands, expands. Now he collisions the wide receiver to throw off the timing for the PBU. Gun 11 base personnel Travis Fulgham is running a deep post route based off Mitchell's leverage. This should be an easy six based off the nickel and wheel pressure blitz with the man on the back end. Mitchell is doing a press bell technique. His eye is eyeing the quarterback's drop step to steal keys Travis eyes eye hip and man in his peripheral, per peripheral vision like Cat Williams say. Keeping everything in front of him and playing over the top to high point at PBU that led to an INT. Gun 10 personnel off man coverage. Frugum runs a bench, aka a comeback route. Mitchell is top five in the NFL, in my opinion, reading the three, five, seven step QB drop to squat and break on everything underneath or mid-level throws outside the numbers. This is what coaches mean when they say all great corners understand the wide receiver route tree. Gun 11 personnel hoop motion for eye candy to throw off the defense. This also lets QBs determine if it's man or not 90% of the time. AJ Green is running a post sit routes towards the hashes. This is a tough route for even the elite of the elite QBs to guard and man because of the leverage and the angle it takes for your hips to transition and your quick twitch muscles to react. And he has no help on AJ Green at all. And as you can see, he just patient shuffle shuffles, collisions, gets his hands on him, and now he breaks to get a PBU. Great job. Gun 11 personnel, Trey left cover one high, dead giveaway. So Burrow knows he has man to man versus AJ Green and Mitchell on the nine route. All DBs pay attention to the sequences. Four steps that he did right. Mitchell uses an inch, feet first, number one, two, two-hand jam, both shoulders to create separation so he has more room to keep AJ Green's hips. Three, once he was at a proper cutoff angle to not be outran, he then, number four, looked back at the quarterback to see if it's a back shoulder throw, which it was. And number five, the only thing he didn't do was uh, get an interception and return it for six. But proper technique. Great fundamentally sound. Uh, just got to catch the ball. Gun 11 personnel stretch 48 RPO is to play. Ben is reading the sandbacker to throw the slant behind whichever way that he reacts. Ben made an incorrect read as Mitchell is squatting and sitting all over this play action for the PBU. 
Here's the route concept, slant out, some coming in, some coming out. Got to know that as a DB. Mitchell tends to like the motor technique, uh, but this time he likes to step with his inside foot as a read step versus man. Some corners like their outside foot, like Sherman and Ward, as you can see on the left side of the screen if you choose to rewind it. Mitchell uses a push-pull hand placement to accelerate and give him positive momentum to break on the slant. All, all within five yards, so it's not a pass interference. Young DBs, pay attention. Small tricks to use to your advantage in an offensive league. Gun 10 personnel trips left. Stick and go concept with the exception of the number three wide receiver running the seam route to run off the safety. Let the play roll. Man to man versus T-Mac, a true 4-3 sprinter. Mitch is sound in his upfield, feet first, cut off 45 degree angle second to get in the wide receiver's way. Mitch then is comfortable and patient with his eyes as he has him down on T-Mac's hips. When T-Mac stutters, so does T-Mitch, but he didn't aggressively stutter. Uh, but he's comfortable and relaxed, and that allows him to not break downfield, so he stays over the top shoulder and in between the ball and T-Mac's hands. He then turns around as the clip plays on. Uh, to, to get his head around at the last second to avoid a pass interference. Gun 10 personnel design running back underneath. That's the route concepts on the screen. It's designed to get the ball in your playmaker's hand. Mitchell does a good job of being the force defender. For a split second, he thought about gambling, but he stayed disciplined, and he hits the Peanut Tillman punch. Um, Peanut Tillman, so do your research. Uh, he was real good at getting the ball out. Nobody ever did it like him. Uh, but anyway, Peanut punch, he forces a fumble and created much needed turnover for the dog pound. Young DBs, if you're watching this, all DBs, NFL, college, high school, force everything inside to your 10 teammates, period. Base 12 person is just a stutter comeback by John Ross III. Mitchell is flat-footed man-to-man reading Burroughs uh, drop step to determine the route possibilities. John Ross runs a 4-2-40. He's the record holder. Guys, I'm telling you, it's about understanding the FBI and having football intelligence so you can be smarter and last longer in the NFL. Mitchell ran a 4-6-3-40, but his quick twitch muscles and awareness is second to none. He didn't stutter on it. Boom, now he just breaks, and now he just plays through the ball. Here we go, we got Gun, 11 personnel, 35 gate counter with Hill as an orbit motion for the eye candy. Mitch is the force defender and makes a good tackle to keep it at a three yard gain, holding the Chiefs to the third alone situation. Here we go, we got pistol 20 near personnel, zoom Z out the play, 48 stretch. We go let the play run. Mitchell does a good job with his eyes and becoming the crack replace force defender. He makes a good well, excuse me, great open field tackle against J.K. Dobbins to stop him from getting in the end zone. And not to be the dead horse, but look at all that space. So as a DB, high school, college, and the professional, if you can't tackle in the boundary in space, bro, you, you out of there. <laughs> you out of there, but good job by T. Mitch. Here we go. We got gun 11 type personnel, 48 toss crack. Mitchell does a good job reading his run key as his run key down block so now he's the step replaced now he just have to make that one-on-one -on -one tackle versus henry you have to be diverse and not just covering the browns uh deep third schemes henry usually wins all matchups but you know mitch does a good job with the open field tackle base unbalanced 21 personnel zone left it's not a design cutback but that's how it Turned out to be Mitchell's to the right of the screen. He does a good job reading his run key who down blocks. So now he just step replace and makes a tackle. Base bunch right tight, 48 reverse. This crack by Nolan Aguilar forces Mitchell one-on-one -on -one versus a bigger body Waller. But Mitchell does a good job of getting skinny to avoid the kick out block by Waller to force it out of bounds. Base 11 personnel hoop motion 48 crack. Mitchell does a good job of attacking the cut by Williams to force it out of bounds. Although this isn't a highlight, this is a drill every defensive back coach in America practices just to simply do your job, nothing more, nothing less. And by him doing his job on this particular play, he allowed the Browns to get a stop and hold him to a field goal.
And there you guys have it, finishing up a breakdown of cornerback Terrence Mitchell. He finished the season with 63 tackles, 13 pass deflections, um, and also he finished number one on his team in the secondary, according to PFF. If you are big on those guys, I'm not. However, he this is his last year of his contract, three-year deal that he signed with the Browns. I believe he's played his way to an even bigger contract, and I think he'll be somewhere else this go-round. Uh, I know football, and I just watched how the Browns, you know, didn't really want him to start, but he always competed and he won the job. And that said, that says a lot about his character. He got that will, man. I think he could play in any system, man, zone, scheme, whatever. The guy can ball. He's smart, too. Eight years. You don't last in the NFL. Eight years going seven round to the Dallas Cowboys in 2014 and still in the league to this day. The guy can ball hands down. There go all of my social media platforms. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Hit that thumbs up button too and subscribe.